Hello, I'm Eileen Wood, and this is today's episode of Bag Lunch. We are going to be looking at a number of my new acquisitions. Surrounding me are a number of examples of one of my favorite bag silhouettes. The bag that you were looking at in lots of different colors and versions is the Carlos Falci Butterfly Bag. This was Carlos Falci's most famous shape, his iconic signature bag. I guess it's his version of his Kelly bag. This bag was designed by Carlos Falci in the early 80s when he was working in New York at Max's Kansas City, which was a restaurant that was populated by a lot of famous people you would know, like Mick Jagger and Andy Warhol and Jimi Hendrix. And because Carlos Falci had come from Brazil, he made some of his own clothes because he was familiar with leather work. And people would come into the restaurant and say, wow, where did you get that jacket? And he said, I made it myself. And one night, Jimi Hendrix asked him to make clothes for his performances, and the rest is history. Carlos Falci began to make clothing, then he morphed into handbags, which he sold at Henri Bendel on 57th Street, which was a very famous chic fashion store. And at the time, I was a young woman working in New York and actually purchased my very first butterfly bag, also known as the Buffalo Bag, at Henri Bendel. And I purchased it at the time in black because I felt that black would be most universal and could wear you could wear it with everything. Well, my thought on bags and colors has really come around over the years. And even though I still love bags that are black, I also love bags in bright colors that make a really big statement. So if you like what you see, I highly encourage you to go online, go on to eBay, go on to Etsy, go on to Poshmark. You will find examples of these bags. And while some of them are not in pristine condition, I'll let you in on a secret. If you take some leather soap, and a sponge, you can give these bags a bath. I don't need to show each of these to you because basically they are the identical bag, but I found them in a lot of bright and vivid colors and really very well priced. So if this is something you like, I would say go onto the internet and find one for yourself now. Additionally, I found a couple that are not quite as standard. Here is one that is in gunmetal silver. This is one that is an ostrich skin. Here's a very unusual one that is in python, which is snake skin, with little bit uh, amber beads that are stitched on with wire. So I've never seen one quite like this before. This one is a really oversized one that's in python and in stripes. And if you turn it around, you can really see how one of the stripes of python almost resembles leopard. So that's in, in a huge oversized shape. So I really love this one. And if you don't want to devote a lot of money to this, there are these online. Because at one point, Carlos Falci did a line for Target. And these bags, while they look quite good, are really made out of vinyl. They're not real snakeskin, but I defy you to really recognize that if I was to be wearing this, I'm certain that one would immediately think it was an original Carlos Falci bag. And these can be found very reasonably on all of the different internet sites. Now, at the opposing end of the spectrum, there are some bags that Carlos Falci created that were very expensive. And these are bags that I found on sites like The Real Real and Vestiage and Tradesy. This one is made out of alligator with almost a silvery finish. And it's really a spectacular bag. And while I paid a lot of money for it, I didn't pay nearly what it cost when new. Here's another special example. This is one that has studs and it's crocodile. So it's truly a case of more is more. And if you haven't figured out by looking at the colors on the sofa, purple is one of my favorite colors. 
so I was delighted to find this Carlos Falchi bag. And while doing some research on the bag, I actually found an early ad from Bergdorf Goodman, and they were promoting a, a visit of Carlos Falchi to the store where he actually signed the bags. He would sign them on the inside. Now, this was one of the bags shown in that ad. Sadly, this one is not signed, but I did find a signed example on the internet that I'm still awaiting. So I might show that to you on a future uh, program. And here are two final examples that are quite different. This one doesn't look like Carlos Falchi at all, but it is. And as I said, I love purple and I love peacock feathers. So, And once again, in the realm of inexpensive bags, if you want to stick your toe in the water and try on a Carlos Falchi for very little, he did a number of bags that were canvas that had a bit of applique of skins upon them. And these can be found extremely reasonably on the websites. So I encourage you to have a look. You've got time, you're home, scroll around the internet, and you can score some marvelous bargains, particularly on bags like these. Thank you for joining us for today's Bag Lunch. Thank you.